what's up you guys welcome back to my channel we're gonna be working on this variety box and oh my gosh when i tell you guys this box smelled so freaking good but first i'm gonna show you guys where i went and got everything i need for this box we're going to release for the toppings period poom poom Ooh, oh my crocs are low-key slippery on these letters Oh, I almost said a, a bad word, a bad word, but I'm trying not to cuss no more. Oh, that's that big ass one. I don't want this. Yeah, we want the tiny one. Oh, I kind of want to take one. They're just so pretty. Zam! And they are seven bucks. Look at the half ones look cute too, but I think these look better. I think I'm gonna take a package just because. Oh yeah, are you kidding? Look at the bottom ones. They're hella sexy. All right, we taking that. Ooh, look at all this little Easter stuff. Oh my God, how cute is this? I don't even know what it is, but I kind of want it. It's so cute. I'm obsessed, but I don't need it. But I do want it. Oh my god, look at those creepy ass fucking bunnies. <laughs> Alright, this is where a lot of our toppings are gonna be coming from. Yeah. Ooh, cocoa pebbles is a good one. And fruity pebbles. I already got fruity pebbles at home, so I'm not gonna get any today. Mm, okay, we're gonna go get some Oreos because for Shelly, we're gonna need some Oreos. And because this is one of my most popular flavors, we're gonna be taking the party pack. <gasps> oh, Bob, should we try these? Red velvet. Oh, uh, let's try that. I think I have most of my toppings at home. My hair looks so fucking dark, it's ridiculous. And my eye bags, I still haven't been sleeping, y'all. But your girl's working on it. Look at Bob. She be trying to buy everything. No, I don't think they have any, dude. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Some cookie butter. We want some mini chocolate chips. Not regular chocolate chips. We want some motherfucking. <gasps> no more cussing. We want some mini chocolates. Mini chocolate chips. Here they go. Yeah, yeah. These. Toffee. Yeah. What's. Oh, yeah, shredded coconut. Uh, let me see how big that one is. Let's try to get this one. I kind of like this one more. 260 guys. Unsweetened. Oh. What's the difference? Oh, uh, let's take this one instead. Okay. Flakes. We need some almonds. And I like the ones that are sliced. And we also want some peanuts. Okay, so I'm gonna get two of these. <clears throat> Cause they're little. I'll take two of these. Ooh, I bet you macadamia nuts is bomb as f bomb. <laughs> so peanuts. I'm gonna take a Ghirardelli. And y'all already know I fuck with. Oops, y'all already know I mess with the dark chocolate. Yeah. You guys, we also are gonna get some Jimmy's. Yeah. I'm sure I was walking in here. Of course, I need a red one because it's my favorite color. And I'm only gonna get the mini one. They have the big ass bag over there. Bob, you're all up in my camera. Oh, sorry. They have the big ass bag over here. Or what if I put this on my menu? Bob. All right, let's just do that. Minis. Yeah. Got the goodies. This is a heavy AF bag. <laughs> I'm trying so hard not to catch, bro. 
look at these berries that i found at Rayleigh's, you guys oh my god they were just so beautiful i had to take them with me even though i had berries at home they were still coming home with me so i forgot to show you guys the whole washing process but i always go ahead and buy the veggie wash from trader joe's i also have it linked in my amazon but that is my favorite veggie wash and i go ahead and dry them all with a napkin i don't really ever let my berries air dry i usually just dry them with a napkin you know what you guys i just realized that this could have been a one-stop shop challenge as well because i got all of the toppings and the chocolate and everything at one store <laughs> like this is gonna be part of the series this is a one-stop shop challenge vibes okay make sure you guys are drying your berries a hundred percent okay because if you guys are dipping your berries when they're still kind of wet your chocolate is gonna get messed up so get under the leaves and all of that make sure they're dry so for our first berry we're gonna be using some of these fruity bites or whatever the heck they're called they're basically fruity pebbles and everybody freaking loves fruity pebbles you guys fruity pebble berries are a 10 out of 10 if you guys have not tried these or they're not on your menu please put them on your menu right now when it comes down to this type of topping i like to go ahead and like crush it all up well not all of it but you guys know what i mean like i'll crush most of it up just because i don't like the whole bulkiness on the berries so i like to crush it up and i think it looks better that way with this topping i feel like it goes better with white chocolate and it gives it more of that like little cereal and milk look you guys i've been having this customer that keeps coming and asking me for milk chocolate and fruity pebble topping and it looks weird but she freaking loves it because she keeps coming back for more and i'm kind of like mm, this look a little weirdo does it even taste good i'm gonna need to try it soon usually for fruity pebbles i like to drizzle them but oh my god look how bomb that looks where are my coconut lovers at this one's for you guys okay i'm personally not big on coconut you guys but my coconut lovers love this including my mama she loves some coconut but anyways i like to grab the already flaked up coconut shredded flake you know what i'm saying <laughs> You guys <laughs> shredded coconut that's what i meant okay okay we just gonna ignore that little part anyways i like to use a white chocolate base because i like the white on white look you guys can go ahead and use milk chocolate as well but i usually do white chocolate for coconut just because it looks so good and this is coming from a coconut hater okay but i be wanting to eat these berries they look so bomb the only thing that did bother me was seeing that little red peek through but it's okay they still bomb okay another one of my really popular flavors on my menu are these almond ones oh my goodness my almond people they love these berries so i personally like to get the ones that are already sliced up i don't like to go ahead and grab those whole ones because they're just horrible to like grind up and chop up and ugh, i hate it save yourself the trouble and get you the sliced ones okay so this is one of my other toppings that I also like to go ahead and crush up with my hands. Um, I basically crush up the whole thing. I should have crushed it up before I even put it in the bowl. But you know, for content purposes, I had to do that. <laughs> but I did go ahead and crush it all up. And I like to do these with a milk chocolate base. Oh my goodness, you guys. Chef's freaking kiss. You guys need to try these. This is what it looks like after I crush all of them up. They look so good. They're basically kind of more of like a chopped vibes, but I go ahead and put as many as I can on my berry. And I like to drizzle these as well. They're so gorgeous. So for this next topping, I've been dying to do it for like literally three years and I have not done it because nobody has ever ordered it. But for the purpose of this video, I did end up doing peanut toppings on the berries. And oh my God, you guys after trying them out they're officially on my menu they are so good this is my favorite topping now it used to be oreos now it's number two peanut is my favorite topping on the berries of course we're doing a milk chocolate base because i'm a milk chocolate girly and i love me some milk chocolate 
I really wanted to drizzle this berry, but I feel like with the almond and stuff, it just didn't go. But look, oh, two bomb. If you're a chocolate lover, you guys are going to love this berry. All you need is mini chocolate chips, and I ended up getting the Nestel, I believe that's how you pronounce it, mini chocolate chips, and they are so bomb, you guys. Of course, we gotta dip it in some milk chocolate. It's always a little bit hard to do this berry, though, just because the chocolate chips are a little bit on the heavier side, but just keep on swirling your berry in the chocolate chips, and they will stick on. You can also do this little method and I just leave my berry in the bowl and I throw the chocolate chips on top of it. <laughs> just so I can get into the little cracks and stuff because that should be annoying, okay? And this topping is for my chocolate lovers as well. And as in chocolate lovers, I mean me. This box is basically just for me, y'all. <laughs> this topping is so good too, like especially for people that love like crunchy stuff. So chocolate sprinkles are really slept on in, in my opinion. And you guys need to try this if you guys haven't yet. So when I'm putting the like sprinkles around the berry, I like to have them as flat as possible if that makes sense. So I'll go ahead and twirl it around up until I like how it looks on my berry. I just don't want them to be sticking up everywhere if you guys know, if you guys get it. I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah, like this. It's so cute. People... <laughs> love this one so everybody and their mamas be asking me how do i make cookie butter chocolate and i'm about to show you guys how i make it okay so you have to get one of these biscoff spreads i believe they're called spreads or whatever the heck but anyways it's um the biscoff brand and you can either get this one or you can also get the one from trader joe's 
and you basically grab a spoonful and put it inside your chocolate and just mix it up until it's all mixed evenly and that's how you make it you guys it's really simple really easy and heck a bomb if you guys have not tried this get it together and go make this right now and try it out I don't really know how to tell you guys the flavor of this exactly. If you've never had cookie butter, then I just don't know what to say, okay? You guys need to try this out. Actually, when I'm doing characters for berries as well, I actually use Biscoff as skin color because it's just so perfect. Like, it's the perfect color. Before I forget, you guys, everything will be linked down in my description. Everything, including my melting cups, my boxes, my mini cupcake liners and my skewers basically everything you didn't see me buy at Rayleigh's okay <laughs> yeah this box is 10 by 7 by two and a half but i only recommend this size if you guys are always finding really big berries if you guys have like smaller or medium berries it's gonna be a lot of box and no berry you know what i'm saying so make sure that you guys are using really big berries if you guys want to purchase this size box or i do recommend nine by six by two and a half that one's also a really good one for medium sized berries please comment down below and let me know which one was your favorite topping let me know if you tried any of these toppings and make sure to like comment and subscribe to your girl okay i want to know if you guys recreate this box please 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 tag send it to me email it to me don't be greedy i want to see it also you guys don't forget to follow me on all my social media everything is exactly the same magalis underscore sweets okay i post way more on instagram and way more on tiktok and you guys can always go over there and say what's up to me okay all right you guys i hope you guys really like this video i'll see you guys next time bye